in the studio with me right now, I have Linda Davies, who's here from the Domestic Violence Center. Did you know October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month? And Domestic Violence Center officials are raising awareness with events all month long. Linda, welcome to Afternoon Tea with me. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. So October, there are a lot of events. First of all, I, I would love to talk to you about the idea that, you know, domestic domestic violence, it's something if if I personally grew up in a household where I was the child of a family that had domestic violence and it's incredibly scary and it's incredibly frightening and sometimes knowing that you have any kind of voice or power, you, you grow up and you, you don't know and the idea that there's an entire month dedicated to the dialogue that we all need to be having about this, especially for our young people, is really a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. So I, I want to I say thank you uh, from someone who, who, who kind of grew up in the shadow of that, and it was very scary, the idea that you're making it s something we talk about and right. something right. that we focus on. Tell me a little bit about the events that will be taking place this month okay. in, for October. Well, I appreciate what you just said, too, because it's really about the silence being broken, because there is so much domestic violence in our world and in homes around us. So, and we really want to break the cycle through working with young folks, okay? Because young people who were in a home, like you're describing. And so what we're doing this month is we're starting off with, on October the 1st, we actually have a event that's happening at the college, which is there's a group, there's a, um, through the um, health uh, department, there's actually something called the Mo Body Mind Wellness Committee, and what they're doing is bringing in all kinds of um, resources for college students. There'll be people there talking about domestic violence, health, nutrition, body image, drugs and alcohol, places so that you know where to go to get help. And we're going to be continuing that, also our clothesline project. We've been out to probably about four or five different health classes right now, getting people ready to come out and to join us that day on October 1st in the Honor Grove. At, it's from 11.30 to 1.30. And what we're going to be doing is giving out information, but also making the t-shirts and showing the t-shirts that were made on September 7, uh, September 20th. And they're very powerful t-shirts. And the t-shirts, each color represents a different type of, of abuse. Vice, of yep. abuse. Yep. Yes. It can be a child. You could have been abused as a child. You could be sexually assaulted. You could just be part of a family. You could have had domestic violence yourself. You could have a child that was murdered um, or a relative that was murdered by their assailant. So I have their to abuser. believe that it's a very, the visual is a very powerful thing to see all of those people gathered. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then on October 3rd, you're screening a documentary. Tell me about Misrepresentation. Misrepresentation is was written by um, actually put together by a woman who has two young girls yeah, and she wanted them to know what kind of world they were being brought into before they were in a way indoctrinated into it or somewhat brainwashed by it right so it really shows how we are how women are misrepresented in our current society through the media through the ads through the way models are through the fact that you have to be thin and most of them are computer generated to begin with right um, it talks about how guys have to be tough guys instead of having to be just what if they're, they're a gentle guy? Who are you attracted to? Understanding that you need to figure out who you are before you go out into the world. And that could help them thinking about not getting into some kinds of relationships that might be unhealthy because maybe they're not being true to themselves when they get into them. So it's a great, great one for moms and daughters to come to, moms and sons to come to, friends to come to, and we'll be doing it at Savia on um, October 3rd. It's a Friday night. There will be pizza. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so people <laughs> and can a come great, to dinner. And a great opportunity to open up dialogue again. And then just a few days later, talking about relationships, you're having a presentation at COC called Who Do You Love? Absolutely. And you said that's based on... We we took the Jim Morrison song because okay. we thought we'd start it <laughs> off with Who Do You Love? Um, and we're talking about healthy relationships. Okay. We and, and giving examples of what an unhealthy relationship looks like, but also what a healthy relationship is. I don't think we spend enough time looking at what we have a right to have in our relationship. Somebody who, who listens to us, somebody who wants to do things we like to do, that there's a share, there's not an enmeshment, so that you both have lives of your own and come together and share that life. So we're going to be doing work with um, students who come to that class, um, and then after that, we're going to be holding, during the course of the year, a group on campus so that people can come and talk about their relationships with us. Excellent. And I notice you're wearing your purple shirt. There's I an event am. taking place on October 11th. This is the SCV of DVC Purple Walk 5K. 
And this is, and I love when I read these words, all proceeds from the Purple Walk of Strength will benefit programs available at the Domestic Violence Center of Santa Clarita. Th that's incredible. That's a, that's a great uh, event that you're holding there. On the 15th, you're having How to Measure Success in Our Relationships. Ooh, this sounds good for everyone. This sounds good for all ages. That absolutely is. It's going to be also an art workshop, so people will come in and they'll use different art mediums to express what success looks like. So it's, a it's going to be a really um, fun one and one that can also get a lot of discussion going with w people. Wonderful. I love that, that this is happening in October. It's my favorite month anyway, so, so what a wonderful, wonderful thing you're doing. If, peop if someone would like to learn more about the Domestic Violence Center or Domestic Violence Awareness Month, where can we send them? Go on to our website. It's www.dvc, Domestic Violence Center dash scv santa clarita valley dot org and if you have any questions about a current relationship that you're in you can also call our 24-hour hotline which is 661-259-4357 and we're there to answer any questions at any time that you that you want to ask them and we hope you do so that's a 24-hour hotline if someone just had a question and, and there's it, there, it, there's a, it's a way to very, very fearlessly ask questions and get some answers to something you may not know if it's even normal. That's a wonderful thing. Again, that hotline is 259-4357, 24 hours. 24 hours a day. And you can get anything from that line. You can get resources to, um, you know, to lawyers. You can get resources to health centers. Anything that you may need at that moment in time or have a question about in relationship to what's going on with you. Incredible. Linda, thank you so very much for being here. This was very informative. And again, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And if you want to learn more, the website is dvc-scv.org. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.